Hi there, Rachel is here with a new tutorial from Lead Extension, the world leading shopping customization tool that transfers all of your data, including products, customers, orders from one e commerce platform to a more robust one. In this tutorial, I will lead you through a complete process of migrating your e commerce store from the current platform to a new one, including the preparation and the checking after a migration. Let's get started. Suppose you want to migrate from Shopify to WooCommerce. First step, you need to create a WooCommerce store. After installing WordPress, you need to download WooCommerce plugin. Then go to your WordPress backend, go to plugin, click on add new and upload WooCommerce plugin. Click activate plugin. That's how you get a fresh new WooCommerce store. Secondly, Backup your data. Data on your source store will stay unchanged before, during, and after the migration with lead extension. We only copy them from one shopping cart to another. However, it's highly recommended to backup everything before you perform any major changes. Go to your Shopify backend and export every important data to CSV files. After that, let's start your migration from Shopify to WooCommerce with lead extension. Register or log in to your account on Lead Extension website. Click Create New Migration. Select Shopify as your source card type. Enter your Shopify store URL. Now, enter your API key and password following the wizard instruction or our tutorial video. Next, select WooCommerce as your target card type and enter your WooCommerce store URL. Installing Lead Extension Connector following the wizard's instruction or our tutorial video. Click Next to configure your migration. Select entities you want to migrate and additional options to expand your migration possibility. After that, you can continue with demo migration to see if everything works as you expected before purchasing the full migration or you can skip it. After the migration is finished, let's check results. There are 36 products which have been migrated. It's equal the number of products you have in your Shopify store. Let's check a random product, which is a brow bear. We can see that product description, image, Category, price, SKU, stock, and everything else has been transferred correctly. Now, let's move on to category. There are 15 collections in your source store profile and they are all transferred to WooCommerce. Let's check the accessory category. Name, description, slug, thumbnail, image were all migrated. Next, let's check customer info. There are 10 of them originally and all were migrated. Their name, role, email, address, and so on. Now it's time for order. All of them were transferred, including the order date, status, and everything else. That's it. Your migration is now successfully completed. But please note that during and after the migration, this extension will keep your old store active normally. It will still receive new orders, customers, and new products throughout the data transfer or when you are configuring your new store after the migration. Therefore, when your new store is ready, you need to move all the newly generated entities there as well. 
That's when our recent data migration comes in handy. You can perform recent data migration with lead extension for free and unlimited times within 3 months after the migration. After that, you need to change DNS and switch domain to the new store. We've made tutorial videos explaining in detail how to perform recent data migration, change DNS, and switch domain. Please look for the videos in the description box below. That's how a full shopping cart migration process looks like. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comment section below or via live chat on website. Make sure to subscribe for more shopping cart data migration tutorials. See you next time.